Yeah. Today, we'll be talking about my Pivot Mach 4 SL. Uh, this is my XC racing bike that has gone a little bit uh, down country. Uh, so this one, as it sits, I've got race tires on front and rear, so I've got the Recon Race on both wheels. It's a really fast rolling option for, you know, the racing, but it has a lot more grip than I expected, to be honest. Uh, when I do go do uh, bigger terrain, I usually put a Recon up front for a little more grip, and sometimes even a Recon in the back if I'm doing true trail riding on it. Uh, for a 100 mil bike, this this one will really blow you away. Um, currently I'm running about 150 PSI in the rear and 55 up in the fork. That's at a 200 pound rider weight, but I do run three volume spacers in the front and the biggest volume spacer in the back. Gives you a lot more comfort off the top. And when you're running with a lockout, uh, you can kind of you know, allow for that softness off the top and you still get the efficiency with the lockout. Uh, on this one, I'm running XT M8000 brakes with a SRAM Eagle 12-speed drivetrain. I am running grip shift on this one because you might as well. Um, gives you a lot of options, lets you hold onto the bar a little better. This one, of course, has a spur cycle bell as well. Um, and the F3 form mount run in the opposite direction on this one, keeps it away from the trees if you were to, to crash. Uh, one of the things I really like about the Mach 4, on the extra large frame you can run two bottles in the main triangle, which you can't do a lot of times with a vertically mounted shot. I think a really important thing to the way I ride this bike is the dropper post. I'm running a, a 1 up 210 travel dropper. So that's their longest stroke post. Allows you to get the seat all the way out of the way and it really acts kind of like a, a trail bike once you get the seat down. Uh, paired up to that, I do have the Wolf Tooth bar centric remote. So this one actually has a bearing that surrounds the entire handlebar. And I think it's a lot better than the, the stock option from Fox or Giant or anyone. Um, this is probably the best over bar remote you can get with a, a lockout or a shifter or something like that. I do run a cush core in the rear wheel. I feel like that allows me to you know, run a much lower pressure without the tire getting squirmy. So I'm, I'm typically running about uh, 17 PSI in the rear tire and 19 in the front. These are the 2.4 wide trail recon race, which is a newer model from them. So you get that, that fast rolling speed of the low tread, but because you can run such low pressure, you get a lot more traction than you might expect. Uh, the wheels were hand-built here at Cadence by uh, one of our owners, Damon. So it's a set of Knox Farlows, which is their 30 mil internal rim, uh, paired up to Project 321 hubs, which are kind of a shop favorite here. Uh, with the, the quiet pauls, you get a, a much quieter you know, riding experience with a really high engagement. Uh, so that really helps you out in rocky sections allowing you to get on the power a little bit quicker. Thanks for watching my bike profile video. Come by the shop anytime so we can help you get on your, your dream setup. Like, what do I need to say? What am I supposed to say? I got you some money. <laughs> oh, wow, I love money.